Hey everyone, just a quick video. I've purchased a bunch of these, which have just graphite thermal pads. Uh, they are, well, I purchased this in particular because I'm spending a lot of time cleaning CPUs off. And generally it's never been a problem, but now we're doing the channel, I've had to do it quite a bit recently and these should make my life easier. The quality performance of it isn't going to be as good and I will do a comparison in a moment between some just cheap generic thermal paste that you can get off eBay, pretty cheap stuff, which I use a lot of. In fact, it's this stuff or some variations of it. It's very cheap, does the job, but it never stays in the CPUs for long. If I'm gonna build a machine for someone, I'll normally use something a little more expensive and more, well, just better in general. But for projects, quick and simple, when I play around, see stuff, test things, when it goes into a final build, it gets replaced. So this should make life easier. You need to cut it to size, of course, because these things do conduct electricity, so you've got to be careful. But we'll pop it on to a CPU and have a look. I have just, in fact, the video is probably up by now, had to do a 4350 build for someone. I replaced the fan on there, so while I have that CPU, I will be using that because it's literally on the workbench over, over there. Over there, yeah. And I'll quickly use that and that will give you an idea of the kind of performance and that's about it really, nice quick video. So let's move over to the machine and pop this on. Now it is just simple as dropping it on there. Obviously if your CPU is brand new, you don't have to worry about cleaning it, but make sure it's all cleaned up first. You might want to cut it to size, but in this case it fits just about. It does conduct electricity, so be careful. That's as simple as that, just pop it on. And drop your heat sink on and screw into place and voila. Okay, so letting it idle for about 10 minutes, we hit about 44 degrees. It dipped about 34, but after a while, the temperature creeped up to about 44 degrees. Running CPU said for about five minutes, we get to a point where it hit 70 degrees and then the temperature slowly decreased performance dropping and we hit around 64 degrees and 5412 points down from 5800 so that's what we get with the thermal pad now with the very cheap thermal paste we get a idle temperature that's lower at 31 degrees and it just sits there it doesn't creep up like it did before network air was unplugged in both of these tests to ensure no updates or any nonsense was happening and then when running the stress test we hit the same 70 degrees and it decreased down, but we have a score of 5,538, so it actually scores a little better. So overall, the cooling performance is actually better with the very, very cheap thermal paste. Now, I was actually surprised by how poor this performs at idle. So I'm a little disappointed, but for what I purchased it for, to save me time and reduce the mess it's perfect for that. So even with the higher temperature at idle and the more extreme throttling, I am more than happy with what this can do. I mean, I can always add a better fan or bigger heat sinks, so it's not a big issue. The cooling performance is adequate for what I want to use this for. Now, I could have tested that with some MX Master or something similar, but I use the cheap Chinese stuff all the time and the idea is this was just to make my life easy with that. Once again, I'll reiterate the fact that I use better stuff when I actually put a CPU and heatsink together for a long period of time. But just for testing, cheap is best because I go through a lot of it. And while these cost £10 to go, it is going to save me a lot of time in terms of cleaning. So I will be using these going forward, but occasionally I'll switch to the paste depending on what I'm doing. Now that's all I wanted to show today, so any questions let me know below. If you've used these yourself, also let me know because I'm curious to see what performance other people are getting. But for what I need right now, I will be using these going forward, so I'll let you know how it works in the long term. So, until next time, goodbye.